One of the challenges that we have in public health is sort of getting the message out what it is that we do. Um, if you tell people, you know, I work in the College of Public Health, they, they sort of have an idea of what that is, but, but not really. People often think of sort of clinical medicine, and while that's an important part of public health, public health is much broader than that. And so we have sort of a mandate to, to create what we call pathways to public health where we're trying to reach back as far as we can into high schools, middle schools, and even elementary schools to try to educate people about public health and about the profession of public health. We have a group of students in our Upward Bound program, and Upward Bound it sort of brings students, high school students, onto campus during the summer. These students are here for five weeks during the summer. They're living in the dorms, and the idea is to try to expose them to, to college life. Um, these are students who might not have uh, a parent or an older sibling that has gone to college. Today is the outbreak scenario, so the students have been training for this for the last three days. And it's a simulated outbreak where um, ordinarily this would happen, say, on a Friday night, Saturday morning, Sunday, and Monday. But because we have three hours to do this and not four days, there are multiple processes that are running at the same time. So behind me you see uh, the epidemiology group, and what they have done is they are, are interviewing our victims, the people who are, are um, playing the part of the people that were sick. So they find out where did they eat, um, when did they eat, what did they eat, at what restaurant, when did they, what symptoms did they have, when did they come down with these symptoms. So they'll gather all the data on the victims. They plot it on a big board over there against the wall. At the same time, um, there is a laboratory group that is looking at samples. We actually grew samples of, of salmonella and some different organisms. Um, so they're over in the public health lab in the bottom of the health center. We have a, la a restaurant inspection group upstairs that is going through. So they're looking at food temperatures, the, the sort of general cleanliness, um, you, you know, looking at um, how the food is stored. To borrow a phrase, they're really drinking from a fire hose on this. I mean, they, we've had them for three days. We tried to prepare them um, as much as we could. So that's, that's the outbreak um, simulation from the standpoint of the students. Parallel to that, we have the Portage County Health Department and the City of Ravenna um, and some of their emergency management agencies, and they honestly get as much out of this as the students do. This is an opportunity for them to, to work together, the county and the city, so they're testing their capabilities. We have the mobile command center here in the parking lot. Uh, as you can see, they have the vests. We have uh, people checking uh, participants in just as they would if this was a normal outbreak investigation or a normal uh, scenario. So as much as the students are being exposed to public health, uh, the, the county and the city are getting really outstanding training.